Let's begin the process of working in Mudbox by taking a look at the interface. So when we first open up Mudbox, we'll get our main interface and we'll also get this welcome window. This will give you the option to play these little movies that will get you started here. We have some areas for tutorials. We also have areas for uh, creating new starting points. So these are the starting point meshes that come with Mudbox. And then we also have an area for any recent files that you may have open. This will give you the option to click on any of these to go whatever direction you want. You can always turn off these uh, this window as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that out. Now once we get into Mudbox proper, you can see uh, the interface is fairly simple and fairly straightforward. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the, the things associated with this. So the first thing we'll notice is the top menu at the uh, up here at the top. And this is uh, pretty short. There's not a lot of options here in the menu, but you can see we have a normal file menu where we can open scenes, save scenes, create new scenes. We also have the options for the interoperability uh, with, in this case, Maya, Max, Soft Image. You can see that we have Maya and Soft installed on this system. We also have the options for working with our Photoshop, sending our screen to Photoshop, um, and then also importing and exporting, and then our recent file list. Okay, next to file, we have edit. So that's pretty... Uh, standard stuff here. Undo, redo, we can delete, we can select, we can lock and freeze our geometry. We also have a new option here for editing stencils, which we'll look at a little bit later. It's pretty cool. Uh, once we go to create, you can see we have a number of things that we can actually create within our mud box scene. We can create meshes, and these are the meshes that we saw in our welcome window, our starting point meshes. We can also create curves, cameras. There's a three different times, kinds of lights that we can create. We can also create new materials and then also selection sets and stencils. Next to create, we have mesh, and this is where we're going to deal with our subdivision levels. Um, you can see we can add new levels, how to step up and down those levels. We can delete our levels. Um, we can also set the mirroring axis, the topological axis here. There's option, a new option for transferring details from one mesh to another. Also validating meshes, so looking at our meshes, making sure that everything is okay uh, with the geometry on those. We also have, this is uh, the area where we're going to be setting up our PTEX texturing. So that's going to be located here under mesh. And then also for working with our UVs. Next to that, curves, where we can create some different kinds of curves. Display options for how we're actually going to be displaying our geometry. We can hide different objects. Um, we can show them. We can also display them in different ways if we want to turn on flat lighting. A lot of these options are also available in the, with the marking menus. Next to display is going to be maps. This extract texture maps is where we are going to be creating our displacement, normal maps, um, transferring paint layers. So whenever we're done with our model, we want to get that uh, those maps out. This is where we're going to be coming. There's also an option for sculpting using a map if we want to bring in a map to actually use and start to sculpt. Next to that is render. This is where we're going to be able to get images out of our mud box scene. So we can save a screen image, basically kind of a screen capture. We can also record a movie or create a turntable movie as well. Next to that is window, Windows, and that's just going to allow us to access all of the different pieces of our interface. So we have trays that we'll look at in a little while. Uh, we have our properties that we can look at, uh, different windows that we can open up, poses. We can open up the poses window and take a look at that. So that's available under Windows. And then, again, pretty straightforward, help. You can get access to Mudbox help, learning movies. You can uh, go to the area and take a look at some of the forum post there and see if anybody else is having the same issues or you can post uh, questions that you may have there and then you can take a look at your system information and there's a lot of links in here under help. Now underneath our top menu you'll see we have basically four tabs here. Our 3D view is where we are going to actually have our model so you can see the grid inside here. This is where we'll actually do our sculpting and painting. Next to 3D view is our UV view which you can see our UV tiles. This is one UV tile so our uh, this would be kind of one texture map here. So if we have a model in here with UVs, we can view them here in our UV view. Although we can't modify them in here, just kind of see where our UVs are at. And the image browser is going to be next to the UV view. This is where we can navigate to a folder that has any images that we want to use. Uh, we can take a look at those. You can see them listed over here on the left, and then we can see the actual image here in the center. We can send those over to be a stamp or a stencil or an image plane. We can view them. Uh, full size here. We can change the size here if we want to rotate them and so forth and get some information about the particular images up here at the top. Now next to that we have the Mudbox community 
and this is a tab we can actually go in to access the area you can see that we can actually see different sections here so we have a gallery where we can post our images that we create a library of uh, alphas stencils and stamps and textures and things like that uh, down here to tutorials where we have this is the artist guide from 2011 uh, down there and so you can come into any of these sections and start to grab uh, pieces from there if you want to go into the library and you want to search for a particular kind of stamp you can go ahead and look at that stamp and, and integrate it into your scene all right so over here let's move over to the right a bit and you'll see that we have an object list layers and viewport filters the object list is where we're gonna see all the objects within our scene so right now you can see that we have several cameras in here that we can access okay as I click on any of these you can see down below this we have an area for properties and this is going to apply to any of the tools that we use uh, anything that we select you can see that the properties will be shown down here on the sort of lower right we also have a light in our scene and a material when we start to get objects in our scene we can start to see those objects here in our object list if those have subdivision levels we'll be able to see those in here as well we can turn off and on the visibility we can also lock those uh, objects so that we can't work with those now next to object list you'll see layers layers is where we're gonna have both our sculpt layers and paint layers now anytime we're gonna be doing painting we're gonna have paint layers so that's basically our texture maps that we're creating and we'll go through that process uh, throughout this course also you can have sculpt layers so you can have sculpted information on a particular layer that you can turn on and off there's options for showing the mask for deleting layers you can come in here to create a new layer and then if you click on the little arrow you get a lot of options here for working with our layers mirroring flipping and so forth okay you can also turn off the visibility on particular layers in the same way so you can see we have the little eye and the little padlock as well this is where we're going to be working with our blend modes for the different layers okay and again under object list we can also filter if we hit that little triangle filter what we're actually seeing next to the object list is the viewport filters and we'll take a look at these a little bit later this is kind of part of Mudbox's on target presentation uh, implementation and so we can turn on within the the 3d view we can turn on ambient occlusion we can turn on depth of field we can turn on uh, change the tone mapper change the gamma and so there's a lot that we can do to try to match up uh, what we're doing with our what will eventually be our end result and that's going to be found under our viewport filters and if we select any of these the properties uh, we can access down here uh, right below that okay so now let's move down to the bottom section of the interface on the left hand side we'll find trays associated with the different tools that we can use so the first tray is the sculpt tools and here you'll find all of the tools in Mudbox to be able to sculpt the basic sculpt tool we can smooth grab and we'll use a lot of these tools as we go through this process and you can see those located down here so when we're actually manipulating the geometry itself these are the tools that we're going to be using now when we start to paint texture maps we'll go to the paint tools and you can see we have a paintbrush projection to paint through uh, images that we have we can sample using the eyedropper sample colors we have airbrush pencil uh, eraser we can also modify the paint that we've got using blur dodge and burn contrast sponge things like that dry brush to hit the high spots of different areas uh, and so we have a lot of options here under paint tools next to that you'll see the pose tools these are going to allow us to take our model and pose it in different ways so whether it's uh, arms limbs or just parts of a model we want to move around we can use uh, create joints and use the pose to pose it up and change the weights and so forth that's going to be located here and then next to that select and move this will allow us to select either objects or individual faces and then we can also translate rotate and scale and that can be found here under select and move over here to the right you'll see these trays uh, and the first one we can see is the stamp so these are going to be stamps that we apply to the different tools that we use so we would click on a tool and then we would add a stamp to that to affect the stroke and then next to the stamp would be a stencil this would be more like something you would place over your model and then paint through it or sculpt through it okay so stamps and stencils and we'll look at those in more depth but that's going to be located over here we can also turn those off next to that we have fall off and so that's how the stroke falls off in the center and we can change that 
based on each individual stroke and all this stuff is found in the properties you can see here's a stamp that we've got we've also got an option for the fall off you can see that this is the fall off that we're using we click on that no fall off you can see that it changes to that you can also manually come in here in the properties and change it next to fall off we've got material presets so if we want to add different material presets ready-made materials we can go ahead and just click on these same thing with lighting and gives us a little thumbnail of what each of those look like in the materials and in the lighting presets and the camera bookmarks we can uh, go ahead and set a new bookmark if we get a good angle on something we can go ahead and set that here in the camera bookmarks now right underneath this we have this little stats bar and you can see that it gives us some information about the number of polygons the memory that's using the subdivision levels frames per second and all of that so that's going to be located down here okay so that's kind of a quick overview of the interface in Mudbox. Like I said, it's it's pretty straightforward and you should uh, kind of take to it pretty easily, I think. Uh, there's not a lot of options up here on the menu uh, to think about. And then we've just got a few down here. And then you're working with just basically your trays down at the bottom and then the tabs over here for the object list. And you'll spend a lot of time in your uh, layers tab as well. All right, so now that we've got a little bit better idea of the interface and how the interface is set up here in Mudbox. Let's go ahead and take a look at navigating our 3D view as we start to get uh, geometry in here. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next lesson.